problems the students are confronted when, um, you know, they enter the profession because they want to help people and they assume everybody is as passionate about food and nutrition as they are. And it's often very confronting when you hit a patient who actually has no interest in what you have to say and doesn't want to talk to you. And that is quite confronting for a student who I think didn't expect that. Uh, dog teachers are skilled in counselling. Uh, it is one of our compulsory components and they are assessed on their ability to engage and work with clients. And you're quite right. We use a, we use a variety of techniques. We try to teach motivational counselling and we try to teach cognitive behavioural therapies as, as strategies. Uh, we try to work on um, a patient, uh, we work with the patient, so we teach uh, patient involvement in the goal setting uh, and we try to teach self-management techniques for people with diabetes, for example. So the idea would be, um, there are some theories, there's some theory of reasoned action, as it's called, which is about people's readiness to change. Now, it is actually unstable in dietetics, but nevertheless, being aware that people are not always ready to change and the first thing you do is you start on talking about why they hold the views they do and what their objectives are for themselves is. Because if you were talking about somebody who is very, very overweight and had diabetes, the issue really is do they want to live? Do they want to, you know, do they want to uh, have a lifestyle of interest to them that they can engage with their family and to try to get them to see the value? So we teach about teaching what we call the diet disease relationship about how diet can help in certain diseases and we try um, small changes, step-by-step -step processes. So that's actually what you learn. So th you, do, do you know what I mean? So dietetics, you have to learn the sciences, you have to learn biochemistry, physiology, nutrition science, you have to learn that. But the dietetics component is the application of those sciences and the blend of those physical sciences with behavioural sciences to get lifestyle change and behaviour change. And you're right that not everybody is as skilled perhaps at doing that. Um, so some people find it quite challenging dealing with individuals who don't want to hear. But nevertheless, uh, it, you, you know, that would be, that's, that's um, one of the primary goals for um, individual case management. You know, there is the acute care sector where we're dealing with what's your tube feed going to look like today, that kind of thing, versus the ambulatory care sector where we're talking about lifestyle change forever and building rapport and relationships with clients so that they feel comfortable and can come back. <laughs>